Star Project Chronicle. She's got at least 394 subscribers and around 78,547 views. She could kick your ass in less time than it would take her to make a delicious mug of tea. It's Abigail Dufo. Good morning, guys. So, sorry for the headset thing. Um, my webcam is no longer recording audio and it's being buggy and I didn't realize that this video had gotten all mucked up. So I'm going to give you a very short version of what went up yesterday, um, which is the chicken farming. So what you're going to do is, oh, there's some, I laid an egg here. So the idea was you need, an, you need a good, somewhat reliable way to uh, farm chickens. And the easiest way to do that is to set up a chicken farm. And I will show you what I mean here in a second. So what you're going to do is you're going to need to build <clears throat> um, fences and a gate. So the gate you build, where are my sticks? The gate you build by doing this. And then this allows you to open it. And then the fence is the exact opposite. It's the blocks on the outside and the sticks in the middle. And they give you them in sets of three. And they look like this. So... What you're going to do is you're going to use, for chickens, you're going to use seeds. Oh good, it's still daytime and nothing's going to blow up on me, right? Right? Excellent. So, um, you're going to take seeds, and seeds attract chickens to you. So you can see I've already breeded a pair, but I'll breed them again. So, um, they attract chickens and they will follow you, and so I, what I did was I went like way, way, way over there, and I... Uh, um, I grabbed seeds and I had the two adult chickens follow me and then I bred them. So um, you do you use seeds to do this with chickens and then I will show you the other animals later but I'll give you a quick explanation. Um, you use seeds to do this with chickens, you use uh, wheat to do it for cows, pigs, and sheep, you use fish for cats, and bones for wolves. Um, so what you do is you get them in a pen, you want to just put it at fences because fences are technically one and a half blocks high and so they can't jump over them. Spiders can still get in here and so can cats because they can jump. Um, so just kind of keep that in mind that you don't want to have anything. If there's cats around your chickens will die so you may want to do it like too tall um, or the spiders too you can as well. So that's something to think about if you especially if you're playing on survival or if you're playing in a jungle where there are cats put them too high. So how you breed them is you right click on oh, these guys it's take uh, it's been too long. What you do is you right click on them with the seeds and then they get hearts. And once they get hearts, um, they will go to another chicken that has hearts on them. I'm going to try and get this to go, but it's taking a while. Um, they will go to another one that has hearts and they will kind of just mingle around each other for a second. Then a little baby chicken pops out and then the same works for cows and sheep and pigs and all of that. And so basically it's the same size head, just like a scaled a little bit down, but not much, but it's a very big head and a very, very tiny body. Um, and it's super cute. So are you, yes, okay, so see hearts and hearts. And so they will mingle for a second and then experience will drop and we'll get another baby chick. Now, the real, I'm just gonna get out of here because it's turning into nighttime. The real bonus to this is once you get like a full crate full of them, you can start killing them off. And you can get feathers, which you use to make arrows, which I showed last time. But what you do is you stick um, feathers on the bottom for the tail of the arrow, sticks in the middle, and then flint on top. And that's how I made all of these. And uh, they'll drop raw chicken, which will get you can cook to make cooked chicken. And that's pretty much all that they offer. But it's a good idea to have that, especially if you're using bow and arrow pretty frequently. It's a pretty good idea to have like a stockpile of arrows. Um, and then uh, with... I'll explain for the other animals once we actually go and do them, but um, yeah, so that's going to be it. It's going to be really short. It took me a very long time to say all of this, and I had to go and find the chickens and whatnot. It was just kind of ridiculous. So this is what we are doing for today, um, and then I'm going to read you my... I, I don't know what I'm going to do for my Diablo video um, that I did today, so yeah. I might just speed it up and uh, just talk over it quick, um, but yeah, so um, I mentioned that on this weekend is BlizzCon, so um, on... Uh, Saturday when we do Minecraft, I'm going to just show you guys how to fish because it'll be quick and then I got to run to my friend's house to watch the Saturday stuff for BlizzCon. And then Sunday's vlog will be all about BlizzCon. Um, the other thing I was going to say, oh, is, oh, um, so the night before I did this video, so Tuesday night, I stayed up late and I got my freaking garage heirloom. Yeah, I'm so happy. So yeah, that's the thing. Anyway, that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry about the crazy look, but I gotta get a video up somehow for you, right? Anyway, like and subscribe if you feel so inclined. Have a beautiful day.